Hello and welcome to Ask Bondi Vet, sponsored by Bondi Vet Pet Insurance. My name's Pete Laser, and joined by one of our wonderful Bondi Vets today, it's Dr. Danny. Hi, Danny. Hi, how are you going? Very well. Time to get into our next question. And this is from Dylan. Dylan asks, what do I do to stop or heal my lovebird from plucking her back neck feathers? Sounds like a relatively common problem, I would have thought. Certainly, it's actually a really common problem with birds feather plucking. And I think the main reason for that is that there are a lot of causes for that. So you certainly want to head down to your vet firstly with your love bird just to see what the underlying cause is, whether it is medical or psychological. Well, let's go through some of those causes. Let's start with the medical causes. Sure. So different medical things that can lead to feather plucking include things like skin allergies, lice, mites, intestinal parasites, uh, malnutrition, and even cancer. So I guess one of the things we could potentially correct straight away is if there's issues with malnutrition. Often uh, small parrots are fed seed only diets and this isn't actually a balanced diet for them. So what I would suggest if you aren't already is to add in plenty of green veggies, uh, some fruits and seeding grasses as well to make that a more balanced uh, nutrition. Otherwise you can use crumbles and pellets as 80% of their diet and then fill in the rest with the fresh uh, ingredients as that 20%. Okay, you spoke of some psychological causes as well. Tell us through some of those. Certainly. So there's a few that can affect birds. Uh, things like changing the environment can lead to feather plucking, otherwise some sexual frustration, boredom, or even issues with their wing clip can lead to that as well. So I guess some general tips if we are having issues with boredom uh, and a bit of frustration, not being able to uh, demonstrate their normal behaviours. Often birds aren't given the opportunity to forage, so um, what I'd like to suggest is to actually hide bits of food for them to actually find rather than having it out there on a plate for them to grab. Other things to uh, include are some branches uh, for them to shred up. That can be really satisfying to birds. As far as uh, encouraging their social uh, interaction, it's a really good idea as a pet owner to have that social time with them. So you can actually train your bird using really desirable treats, so some yummy seeds perhaps, to have that interaction and, and really challenge them and get them using their brains because they are very intelligent animals. So that can help settle down frustrations in general, but uh, as I said, definitely head to your vet to see what the underlying cause is so that we don't miss anything. Does it take a long time for their behaviour to change? It can take quite a few visits to the vet to really get on top of what the underlying issue is. So it can take some time and then obviously it's going to take time for those feathers to grow back and whatnot. So it can be a bit of a process, but I'm sure you can get there if you figure out what's going on. Some great tips. Thanks, Danny. No worries. If you've got any questions for us, make sure you jump onto the Bondi Vet Facebook page or our website, bondivet.com forward slash questions. That's it for this show. Bye for now. This episode was brought to you by Bondi Vet Pet Insurance. Get your best friend covered today at bondivet.com. Hi, I'm Dr. Danny Dusek from Bondi Vet. If you love our show and want to see more, plus some amazing content about pets and how to care for them, hit the subscribe button. Click that little notification bell and we'll see you on our next video.